and worship today. Let's just stand to, to honor him. Because without him, without him, I tell you, nothing moves. Nothing happens. We want to give God all the thanks and praise. Lord, my God and my Savior, my healer, my counselor, my deliverer, I want to give you thanks and praise today. I just want to honor you for who you are. You are the Alpha and the Omega in our lives. You are the beginning and the end. We thank you for life. We thank you for, for grace, for mercy. We thank you for the outpouring of, of all the things that you, are, you continue to do in our lives. We give you thanks and praise today. We honor you today, Lord. We worship you today, Father. We just bless and glorify your name. You are the Alpha. Open your mouth and praise him. Thank him for what he is doing. Thank him for what he, he is about to do today. As, as we open our minds and our hearts, as we open up ourselves, to praise and glorify him. As we open up our mouth and our thoughts, I tell him to know who he is, who he is.
People can get themselves together because we want them slamming. Who want a better word? Slamming. Amen. You know, in the book it says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. You know, I want, I, I really want all your undivided attention because this is so important. This is so important and if we don't listen, people who come in for by us for the first time wouldn't want to listen either. Because we and we 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 we, we talking. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God let there be light, and there was light. That's Genesis 1, verse 1 to 3. Friends, you will understand that God created the world by his word. And we have to understand how important this, 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 this is. The mouth. This thing called our mouth. We have to understand how important it is. It's not just to eat. To talk, to talk all manner of things. It's so powerful that sometimes we misuse this thing called our mouth. God said it and he commanded the book with, with a word and there was light. We could command so much things in our lives we don't even understand how powerful our mouth is. But because of how we were taught, how we were, how, how we were brought up, some of us shy, we, we, we fail to talk, we even fail to pray. We have seen people who come here who they don't know how to open their mouth and pray. And close. That's fine. Close mouth. Is that it destiny close? Once you can't open your mouth and command, I command you to move. Right, move. Physically, but spiritually. I command you, I command you to go from here. I command you out of my house, out of my life, out of my finances. Just by a word. And that's what altar and water means. We can command things out of our lives. Come on. God went ahead to use his creative power to change things the way he wants it to. He upholds all things through the word of his power. Our words are powerful. Let's not sit by and, and allow and allow our lives to just flow. But let's command what we want in our lives. I command that my, 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 this, this is my best child I have here. In my belly. We start from here. From here. I command they will be great. I command that they will do things. They will command, they will command things in their life. They will never suffer, suffer. Nothing shall come against you. Everything you do shall prosper from inside here. From inside here. We can command so much in their life that we just like we forget sometimes. You know, I come up in the car today. Um my, 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 this is my best friend for all who don't know. You know, we were talking, we always talking and and she was talking um, last night, she was sleeping and she feels something hit up at the foot of her by her foot coming up. You know, when in, in, in the midnight hour, when you when lie down in your bed, it, it, that's time you want to come. And she started to come up and come up, come up, coming up. And she started to let go the press on it. Like, what you call hand? Okay, no matter who, where you are, it doesn't matter where you are. You command what you want. Command it. And she command it. Go from here. Get out of my place. You're not wanted here. You blood of Jesus. You blood of Jesus on your the blood of Jesus in this place. And as she starts to command, guess what happened? She said, Lord, I command sweet sleep. After this. I command sweet sleep because it can go and come. And it has come when, when, when we are most vulnerable. When our 
prayer life is weak. Let me say, not tonight, no. We have midnight prayer, not tonight, no. Being like sleepy. And he said, are you sleepy? Why am I coming at you? We have to understand who God is in our lives and trust him. Genesis 1, 27 says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him. Male and female created he, them. God created all of us. All of us. I might be, I might be white, you might be pink, you might be blue, but he created all of us. You might have money, you might have, you might be poor, you might be rich, you might be, you might be single, you might be married. God created all of us in his own image and likeness. And who is anyone to tell us differently? Who is anyone to tell us differently? I like to walk in this, this, this calm and good. So sorry. Child of God, you are created in the image of God. Man in his own image and likeness. So what are you waiting for? What are we waiting for to recreate our life? To change things in our lives? What are we waiting for? We waiting for God to come? What are we waiting for today? You have me. It's going to say you, but I change it. We have the power to change whatever we want in our life. Amen. We have the power to change it. Yes, we have. Not commander. Not the obi man. Not nobody else. Not, 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 not me. We, each one of us, have the power to change what we want in our lives. And if we don't understand that, sad is our portion. Thank God today, you know, this this message, you know, is so deep and, and, and it's, it's so needed. 